first thing, Saturday morning. Upper body intensity day will be working with 258 for a set of five on the top end with the football bar. Uh, this will be a big set, so I'm extremely excited. But holy crap, my legs are trashed uh, from Thursday's workout. Like, I'm contemplating whether or not it's worthwhile to actually get out of the truck right now. You know when you're so sore that it hurts to touch your legs, let alone actually move them? This is the one day that I've been grateful for putting a step into the truck uh, because I'm pretty sure I would have just ended up on the floor right now. Um, it's those damn SSB lunges. They cooked my legs, uh, which is strange because I've done walking lunges with a barbell with uh, 185 for sets of 10 per leg. And this was 160, but it's amazing how even just a slight difference in cambering coupled with the fact that I haven't done lunges in a probably about an eight week block, give or take, uh, makes an incredible increase in intensity. Um, and it, like I said, I'm just surprised at how sore I am because it's very rare uh, for me to be at 12 out of 10 in terms of discomfort. And I am currently there and I'm not very pleased, but if that's the worst I have to deal with, as long as the majority of the soreness has left the building by tomorrow morning, I'll be good to squat and pull heavy with no issues. So today's training session was a little bit of a bust. As you'll see here in a moment, I absolutely bailed under the top set at 258 pounds and I dropped the bar almost on my neck, which happens from time to time. Uh, it's very rare that I miss lifts, but uh, got a little bit of a hamstring cramp, threw me off, and here we go. Enjoy. Wasn't that exciting. So from time to time, you will inevitably miss lifts. Um, it's not something that you want to do frequently for a couple of reasons. One, it tends to tell you that your training is not that progressive. Uh, so if you're constantly missing lifts that usually means that what you're doing is not working um, but to further that if you're missing lifts on a regular basis you're going to begin to expect to miss lifts there's something to be said for programming numbers that are extremely manageable because the more wins you can chalk up the more you're going to expect to win under the bar but regardless we followed up the presses we nailed all four sets of five on the football bar with the back offsets. Then we went into wide grip pull downs as one of the secondary lifts for this training block with a little more weight than I would usually use for such high rep range. Then we went into a rope row. This really targets the rear delt as well as the traps. Uh, interestingly enough, I felt the traps really light up on these bad boys, probably because my posture wasn't ideal, but regardless, that high rep range really, really, hit the upper back, especially after the wide grip pull downs. And I like the fact that the rope row also prioritizes grip um, because you can never have enough grip strength, especially when you're pulling double overhand on deadlifts. Um, moving on from there, went into a neutral grip Swiss bar skull crusher, which is one of my favorite skull crusher variations because I find that neutral grip, that parallel grip really hammers the back of the arms. Uh, in recent months, I've actually played around with a neutral grip tricep press down as well, and I found that to be extremely progressive in terms of tricep development. So currently, I have two skull crusher variations in my programming. This neutral grip one on intensity days, and then my volume day during the week has a easy bar skull crusher variation. Um, both of them with different weights for different rep ranges as well uh, because they do not get measured as the same exercise because even though they're very similar, they are in fact variants of skull crushers that should be measured separately so that you can make sure you're making progress over time in the most measurable way possible. And then I finished off with rope tricep press downs and I actually had to cheat form on these for quite a few of the repetitions. I was expecting to hit 15, that was the aim, uh, but I burned out at 13 on both sets and that was with a uh, form that was not necessarily optimal. But regardless, it was a progressive training session. It wasn't my best day under the bar, but those happen from time to time. And it makes for a comical video as long as you have your safeties set at a point that your neck won't get crushed. <laughs> 